right then. So you don't want to spend any more than about 400, 450 bucks on a phone and you don't care about having the best of everything. You just want something decent, right? Well, good, because the Xiaomi 12 Lite isn't the best at anything at all, but it is a decent mid-range phone. Now, this time Xiaomi decided to go with a more iPhone-esque design with that flat frame. Um, I personally prefer flat sides. I find they're a bit more comfortable to hold and afford a bit more hand purchase for a better grip, but I know a lot of people prefer the rounded or waterfall style side, so if that's you, don't judge me. Uh, it's a very light phone at only 173 grams, and that's probably due to the plastic sides and thin standard glass back, but luckily it doesn't feel like some cheap Tonka toy meant for crotch goblins. Um, at the top, we've got an IR blaster. I know a lot of you will be happy about that. And then to the side of that, we've got a passive grill for the earpiece speaker. On the bottom, we've got the dual SIM tray and the other stereo speaker. Uh, audio's fairly underwhelming as expected on a mid range. Like it's adequate, but there's no low end. Um, the mids are barely there and the highs are a little tinny sounding. However, we do have Dolby Atmos support, which helps a little, but the speaker quality just isn't there to really make much of a noticeable difference. Now the 12 Lite comes with Android 12 and it's running Xiaomi's MIUI 13 on top. Now I know most of you watching this are probably pretty familiar with the in and outs of MIUI, so I'm not gonna cover much but we do get a bunch of pre-installed apps. Like a lot of them are your typical first party apps that have better third party replacements in the Google Play Store. But then we've also got just straight up bloatware that no one asked for. Uh, we've got a ton of always on display designs, a bunch of notification and control center options. Of course, we've got the Xiaomi theming app for wallpapers, device themes, ringtones, and so on. There's that special features sub menu with the quick access sidebar option and some other stuff in there. And it all runs really nice and smooth too. Now that being said, I do notice some stuttering and slowdowns when I've got background downloads or installs happening though. So general device performance isn't bad, but certainly not a stutter free experience under all circumstances like we see with higher end devices. The 6.55 inch full HD plus AMOLED display is pretty nice. Um, 120 Hertz dynamic refresh, uh, 240 Hertz touch sampling, 100% sRGB color, 950 nits peak brightness with support for Dolby Vision and HDR10 plus. So outdoor visibility hasn't been an issue at all. Uh, colors of course look great and MIUI lets us really dial in our display profile with a ton of fine tuned display options. But I'm not a fan of the selfie camera smack dab in the middle. I think like most people, I also prefer it off to the left. So when it's rotated, it's not as distracting. Uh, the fingerprint reader is fine. It's accurate and quick enough not to complain about, but the location of it sucks being down there at the bottom. Now you can get the 12 Lite with either six or eight gigs of RAM and 128 or 256 gigs of storage. But with the Snapdragon 778G, if you wanted to do a pinch of gaming, no problem. Just don't expect much higher than 60 FPS in more demanding games that do support higher refresh rates. Uh, but luckily, even after a couple hours of gaming, it doesn't really get hot because of that lower power consumption CPU. Now, I was a little surprised at only just over five hours of screen on time with the 4300 milliamp hour battery, considering the low power CPU. Granted, I was running the display at 120 Hertz with about 75% brightness, but five hours still seems a bit on the low end, no? It does come with a 67 watt charger though, which will charge it from dead to 50% in about 15 minutes, but no wireless charging. Ugh. So for cameras, we've got Samsung's standard wide 108 megapixel sensor, uh, Sony's ultra wide eight megapixel IMX 355, and some crappy two megapixel macro from Galaxy Core. Now the standard wide and ultra wide are pretty common sensors you'll find in a ton of mid range devices. Uh, colors look really good, but reds are quite a bit oversaturated. Sharpness and clarity looks great and good lighting, but starts to deteriorate pretty fast as we get into ambient or low light scenes. The 32 megapixel selfie camera is also from Samsung and it actually does pretty good. Skin tones look accurate and overall colors look really good. But if you look at my right shoulder in these two pictures, you can see the highlights on my tank top is clipped in the standard shot, but completely preserved in the portrait mode shot. Uh, so anyways, in its entirety, the 12 lights, a decent mid range device, but at 400 to 450 bucks, I'd also be looking at offerings from like 
Poco, um, the Nord devices from OnePlus, maybe the Samsung A53. But let me know what devices you'd compare the 12 Lite to in the comments, because there's just way too many mid-rangers to list them all myself. Anyways, that's going to do for this one. Uh, don't forget to hit that like button to help me out with the almighty algorithm, and subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video. Thanks as always for watching, and I'll talk to you all in the next one. Cheers.